Hey, it's Kevin DeWitt here. Welcome back to the Pasties Prime YouTube channel and welcome back to Stellaris, where we're continuing our playthrough of the Killick Cooperative and uh, just slowly expanding at the moment and discovering everything we can find to discover in this wide galaxy. So, yeah, let's just get moving. See what else we discover in this video. Special okay. inquiry concluded. Every time I unpause, it's like bang, instantly something. The drones are remarkably efficient at squeezing ever diminishing returns from rocks Kellex miners would have soon discarded, deemed exhausted of all worthwhile mineral content. Our top engineers are working on adapting the drones methodology for use in the Kellex cooperatives mining networks and stations, which should improve efficiency, effectively lessening energy expenditure. Of lesser important is the fact that the drones are not completely silent. Contrary to previous assumptions, they admit signal pings, though extremely infrequent and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noises. If there was anything anyone left to receive these pings, may be a mystery for another time. Alright, we've got Easy Prey, Drone Destroyer Modifier added, giving the following effects damage to HM Mining Drones plus 33. Oh, fascinating automate. Automator or autom or mm, whatever. Uh, droning mining techniques modifier added, giving the following effects mineral station outputs plus 10%. Well, that's what I want. Okay, hang on a second here. We've got. Um. Hmm. I mean, I guess we just keep taking things. Okay, there's an unexpected natural wormhole. Would be good to take that. Wait, why is that now? Hmm, got nothing on it. Good question. Okay, and you're still sitting here. So much influence do we have? 140, no, 251. Huh. Oh, well, let's go get it, I guess. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. That's not a good trait. Not a good trait at all. Evading hostiles. Okay. Uh, unusual readings suggest there may be more to this desolate world than meets the eye. Alright, we'll research that. Okay. Let's have a look here. What do we got? We can't tell. Well, whatever it is, we are stuck. So we can go to there. That's about all we can do. Okay, so we've got a couple of blockers. I think I'd like to grab that one. Alright, you come and go there. I'm doing a star base. Okay. Construction finalized. Um, okay, let's do the observation post. And then 
I'll do that. We can't do any mining? Oh, because it's the volatile moats. Okay, nestled in the sheltered pockets across a scant fall surface is a rich sludge of simple organic compounds that our researchers believe could be a hotbed for a biogenesis. The spontaneous formation of organic life from lifeless matter. The scant fall has an unusually thick atmosphere for a barren world, which can make it hospitable for simple life forms. Although this presents a unique opportunity to study what could be the early stages of the origin of life, it would be best to set our expectations low, as it may still be millions of years before life evolves naturally on a scant four, if at all. What the hell's a scant four? Well, clearly it's up there. Okay, fascinating. The science is coming down here. What? You must have finished at the same time as the other one. You must have. System resources analyzed. Together, we will build a brighter future. Okay, uh, more energy? Habitability plus 5%. Uh, oh, you could improve your research. Do the habitability. Still not getting a good enough thing with this one. Um, we've got a spare envoy. We already You're already in there. But we could do some espionage. We'll have a bit of a look. Let's upgrade you guys. Ships upgraded. Special inquiry concluded. Invisible death. Our scientists have returned from the Zvan labs unscathed with footage collected from the facility's security cameras. It shows lab scientists bound and gagged as guerrilla soldiers pry open the weapon strong box, but to their dismay, the box is empty. Only minutes later, the rebels can be seen writhing on the floor in intense agony, dark patches swelling across their bodies. Then their skin rips and a grey, unidentifiable matter spills out. The matter continues to expand, swirling hypnotically around them, until one of the scientists activates the emergency system. Sprinklers douse the room in liquid and an electrical surge passes through it, uh, executing all living things. Here the footage ends. Our crew can confirm that the strong box was indeed empty. Spooky. Our excursion into the Zvan Labs has progressed our engineering research. Research option gained. Super solid materials. Tech progress gained. Super solid materials plus 30%. Ooh, spooky, spooky stuff. Okay, so that's you. Alright. Construction um, complete. Alright, let's go excavate that site. Uh, who finished? You finished. Okay, we got enough to grab that one. Okay. 
Okay, hang on a second here. Um, what does that give us? I mean, we can do it. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we want? Oh, I grab a district. Try and get some amenities up here. You're okay. You're okay. Construction complete. System resources analyzed. Oh, Construction point. complete. Uh, influence cost reduced. Okay, let's build the mines. Okay, we need a job over here now. I think we're going to do that for our last district. That one's still building. Anomalous ah, readings again? detected. Okay, that's difficult. Leave that. System resources analyzed. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Unbroken Medley. The public is enthralled and many donations have come in to aid in the continued search of strange life form. Okay, let me just check the syslog thing here. Try and... Okay, got a few things going on, not too many. Uh, okay, so you're not doing anything. I got a feeling this is all No, I don't really know what my feeling is. <laughs> uh, let's do that and see where we go. Construction complete. Okay, I don't know whether to do that one yet or not. Let's go and build the research there. Is that a habitable planet? Wait, 80%. Well, maybe we should grab that so that we can colonize another planet.
Uh, they're coming. Okay, these guys might be a barrier for them. But I do wonder if we should take this. I mean, even that one. Because they're coming in here. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, something has gotten into the archaeologist. The excavation thus far has been impeded by freak accidents, injury and misfortune, and now even senior researchers with decades of field experience are blaming the Sentinels. Overcome with superstition and paranoia, they claim the statues move about when no one is watching, yet there is nothing to suggest their jointless limbs are even capable of motion. Matt has spun further out of control when traces of biomatter, indicative of heavy bleeding, was found lodged within a series of tiny cuts on the terminal portions of a sentinel. Whether the sentinels are just a convenient scapegoat or there is a more sinister explanation remains to be seen. Curious. Curious indeed. Uh, hmm. Mm, I don't want that world. But I also want to stop these guys spreading over here. Especially this one. This is sort of like I mean, that one or that one could be a choke point. System resources analyzed. Now, they might not come through because of this alien vessels, but... I don't know. Can they actually kill them? Are they allowed to? Science officer Prippy has gone missing. Oh, no. She was last seen leaving the camp at sunsets to find a tranquil spot to consider the sentinels. In the days leading up to her disappearance, she raised concerns about the safety of camp following a growing number of accidents and we fear that she may have abandoned her mission in protest. Disconcerting. Hmm. Now, just out of curiosity. Uh, does that mean we need to do something? We were leaving that anomaly, weren't we? Yeah, it's a pretty hard one. Okay, and what else? So... Okay, we need to recruit a scientist. Research speed, research speed. Anomaly discovery. Let's go with you. Okay, now... Continue excavating. We li literally lost her. That's amazing. Together we will build a brighter future. Fifteen percent genetics, fleet supremacy, fleet command limit, no. Naval capacity. I mean are we at that stage now? You need to sort of do both, don't you? If you do that one, you can create a new fleet. But if you do that one, you can grow your fleet higher. But you still need that as well. Let's just do that one. Okay. Still building that one. Where are we at with this? All right. So this needs jobs too. Do the jobs first. Oh, 
do another district. And we'll do that. Okay, what will the upgrade give us? More amenities, more housing. Yeah, let's do it, because the amenities are still pretty low. Okay, you're still doing System nothing. resources analyzed. You got plenty to do. Construction finalized. Yeah, Our research station. has progressed. Transmission incoming. Discourse anticipated. Why? Engineering research. Uh, okay, we've already advanced that a little bit, so maybe... Let's go for that. Wants to establish mutual embassies. I think that's okay, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Anomalous readings detected. Yeah, I'll leave that one. Transmission incoming. Discourse anticipated. God, former research. Transmission group. incoming. Hang Discourse on. anticipated. Uh, I guess we'll get a bit more than you do. Sure. Construction complete. Because Scientific I... progress attained. Okay. Oh, Mahal. Use reactor. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's cheaper. All right, uh, research speed, research speed. System resources analyzed. Okay, this is significant scouring the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural from orbit. The massive rifts look almost like writing. Well, that's very easy, so let's do it. Construction finalized. Okay, let's build the mines. All right, someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Rixum 3A. The massive script covers a large portion of the moon's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficulty lo difficult life of an alien mercenary. 
fascinating. You do it now. I was an envoy. Okay. Go away. Uh, the agreement we signed giving you access to our databanks has run its course. Would you like to extend it? 2000. Man, you're putting the price up. Anomalous readings detected. Although cell 2A appears totally desolate and devoid of life, our scanners have picked up an, un an encrypted signal emanating from it. Okay, let's do it. Construction complete. Okay, now do we just. Do it to get it done. All right. Having decrypted the signal, Keba was astonished to discover it was broadcasting in an archaic form of one of the main Kelic languages, speaking in these, thous, and whence force. It appears to be reciting one of the lost works of Lapawa Kapasa, a renowned Kelic playwright who lived some 600 years ago. It appears that the broadcasting device, a simple satellite dish, Protected by a small shelter is the only natural structure on on moon. There is no hint as to who left it there or why, but going by the wear and tear on evidence, it must have been there since shortly after the play was first written, long before Killick learned the secret of space travel. We can only assume it was left there by ancient visitors to Unbroken Medley, who took a liking to the play and decided to pay our species a strange and unexpected tribute. Okay, further evidence of the superiority of the Killick race. Uh, superiority reaffirmed to modify out of five years, giving the following monthly unity plus 15%, citizen pop happiness plus 10%. Wonderful news, disseminate the recording across the nations. Unity gained 1,000. I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Oh, it's already moving. Now I'm going to go and grab that one soon. Okay. Consumer goods is a little bit annoying right now. say it's gone quiet Compos compositional analysis of the sentinels has revealed that they are made from an unknown hybrid metal ceramic composite such a material could not have been forged by a prehistoric society yet preliminary readings suggest they predate all known civilizations on spirum prime unfortunately the scanners cannot yet pierce the sentinels metal coating Curious. Guess you're going to keep going. Our research has progressed. Okay, clearly we succeeded our mandates. Okay, so that should increase our fleet capacity. Uh, what we don't have now is the actual naval capacity let's do that research increase hang on we've got a job issue here Communal housing. Okay. That must be one for our faction because I don't remember seeing that before. That's obviously to do with our. Ela what is it? Elagaritarian or whatever you call the stupid thing. 
Uh, uh we don't need that. Seat housing research labs, resources, robot assembly. I mean, that will give us continued increase in pops. I mean, I always find everyone says that pops is what you want and robots is what you want, but I always find that I find it harder to control my worlds because the growth goes out of control, but maybe that's just my problem. Turn minerals into alloys? I don't think I want to cons convert any consumer goods because I mean, you could do that one. Civilian industries. Artisans turn minerals into consumer goods. Okay, let's do one of those because we need to get something under control with those. Anyway, can I get rid of that one? Okay, um... Artisans turn minerals into consumer goods. Meteorologists turn uh, minerals into alloys. Approximate jobs production, eight alloys. Uh, ten mineral upkeep. Or we create minerals. like the look of the minerals. I don't know why. Construction finalized. All right. Okay. Preppy... Uh, Imu's belongings, including her mind gazer, a device used to isolate the mind from outside interferences, has been found on a ledge overlooking the sentinels. Sticks forming a half finished outline around one of the statues suggest she may have diverted from her exercise to mark its position. Her flashlight and scanner were discovered crushed under a shattered piece of the sentinel's wing. The scanner had been modified in a peculiar manner. Perhaps it could help us pierce the Sentinel's protective layer. If we wish to find Prippy Imu, Imu alive, we must divert extra resources to the search as her chances for survival in the wilderness diminish drastically every day. Okay, spare no expense. Oh, crap. Divert some of our archaeologists to the search. Uh, adds minus three clues we are not, not wasting time on deserters I don't want to spend the influence but let's do it let's just do it it's the right thing to do Uh, Primi, Prippy of you has been found unconscious and badly injured, hiding in the underbrush below a natural rock formation with a bloodied data pad tucked under her arm. She was rushed to the hospital and treated for severe brain injury indicative of blunt trauma by impact from above. Though her condition is now stable, she still suffers from memory loss and has no recollection of how she sustained her wounds. Splinters of the unique metal alloy from where which the sentinels are sculpted were lodged in her, her paraetal cranial bone. All she remembers is hiding from someone and subsiding off of what little the land had to offer. However, her notes contain some helpful information. So, the Sentinel adds five clues. Uh, Prippy Imavu gains the maimed trait, granting the following effects. Leader's lifespan minus 40 years. 
She gonna die quickly. Alright, well, we're gonna keep going. System resources analyzed. Uh, reson resonance imaging of the M489 T asteroid suggests an internal composition consisting of rare crystals. All right, let's research that. So why? What? What happened to my other scientist? Prippy. But so did you take back over? She's now died, so I said she was going to die quickly. I didn't realize you took back over. Just because you were found. Uh, anyway, um, get back to it, please. System resources analyzed. Uh, we've made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Benatanash system. For now, we've codenamed that. Okay, we're not even over there. I like the way that pops up, even though you're not there. I guess we have to take the spy. Probably the smart thing to do. Together we will build a brighter future. Yeah. Too much stuff going on. Get away. You research. 5% unlock code. Alright, that's the cheap one. The edict. Okay. Empire size from systems and colonies is reduced by 25%. Starbase upkeep reduced by 20%. So total empire size is plus is 124. So if I do that. 111. Okay, it helps. Sacred Hark, while unremarkable on the surface, the M489T asteroid has a hollow core lined with industrial valuable crystals like a gigantic geoid hung in the stars. With special instructions prepared by the science officer, any future mining platform should be able to carefully harvest these crystals from the interior of the asteroid. Excellent. Um, so you're done there. Go survey that one. It's unclaimed. Okay, then we'll have to work out what we're going to do after that. Okay, the KRC flitting has discovered a previously unknown strategic resource on M4A90 dubbed rare crystals. Is that what we just did? The crystals uh, lend themselves wealth to both high end electronics as well as laser weapon systems thanks to their spectacular refractive properties. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Yes. Well, we can try that. Uh, okay, thanks, Governor. The archaeologists have reconstruct have reconstructed modified scanner set to pierce deeper within the statue's hybrid uh, composite material and has picked up on weak radiation emanating from their cores. To investigate further, it would be necessary to break one of the sentinels open. 
very likely destroying it in the process since one of the statues has already lost part of its wing under archaeologists recommended starting with that one. Open the central carefully so that we can reassemble it. Uh, we will not desecrate a sacred monument. If we preserve the sentinels, the land cannot be used for other purposes. Uh, level the Xeno monstrosities to the ground. All right, let's do the top situation log one. updated. Hang on, what does that mean? Oh, we actually got to do a separate resource research. All right, okay, let's do it. Bit of a detour. Uh, the vessels detected in the Abenatash system seem to be part of some sort of expedition across the galaxy with purposes unknown. They have not made any hostile moves, nor is there any heavy weaponry in evidence. Uh, instead, they seem to be broadcasting repetitive but not particularly content-filled signals in our general direction. Our envoy, Karaka is confused but hopes that the broadcast will help our linguists translate their language. Curious. Okay, keep going then. Um, so you're upgrading. Yeah, so we don't have increased naval capacity, even though we have increased fleet capacity, and we do have destroyers, I believe. Ah, uh, that's what I was thinking of here. Just thinking. Upgrade this port or base station. But three or five. We could have even done this one down here. We've got Malak. Zambor's one, Magic's one. Makes sense. The entry points haven't found another entry point yet. Uh, so is that finished being dug? Let's go and excavate that one. Anomalous readings detected. Sensors pick up rhythmic movement on the heli surface of Ar Arkham Fungla. Okay, let's research it. Ships upgraded. The measured pounding observed from orbit is the motion of immense and ancient geothermal extractors breathing their last. Built and then abandoned at some point in the distant past, the vast batteries of disintegrating machinery have been pumping up superheated fluids from the planet's core ever since. Their storage capacitors are all broken or leaking, but some energy can still be siphoned from them. Okay. Construction finalized. All right, we're going to go over there. Uh, where's the closest? Probably Tibor is. Oh, no, shipyard. I want it. Oh, God, they're miles away. 
Hang on, I want to do a... Resources analyzed. Let's do a colony ship. Construction complete. Okay, we've managed... We've managed to decipher the confusing, repetitive messages the res aliens were sending us, and it turns out that they were commercial advertisements. Apparently they call themselves Racket Indust Industrial Enterprise and are a part of a group of spacefaring traders that make a living by offering the best deals, or what they claim to be the best deals, to whichever civilization they happen to be visiting at the time. True to form, it appears they are attempting to contact us. Clicky, we great... Uh, what is that clicky? Click, we great you. We are operators of Racket Industrial Enterprise, a member of the Cow... Caravana, sorry, Caravan Coalition. We travel the stars, arise, catch all that glows. We gather and we trade. Um, we pass through space in peace, only to buy to sell. We will offer you good deals, many things. Just now, our ships are absent. We will speak to you soon when we come back. Should you call us, the Caravan will answer. Next time, maybe. Uh, so does that mean we've got, so that's finished, so we've got an envoy free again. So let's go back to our espionage. What the hell is that? Where'd you come from? This is a shielded world. Huh. Okay, I didn't know you were there. Guess we never really got down there, did we? Um. So you're Tibor. Tibor, Tibor, Tibor. What do we want? Go with the disruptor. I'm just wondering if we want a shipyard up there. Ah, go with the gun battery. Concluded. The Sentinels have woken. The engineering team was just preparing to disassemble the broken Sentinel. Disassemble the broken Sentinel when a gentle shiver passed through the statues and they sprung to life. Bodies humming and skin glowing. Radiation pulsating from their cores has made them malleable and transparent, revealing a digital grid of limbs. Before anyone could react, they have surrounded the archaeologists and suspended them within their force field. Now they wish to speak with us. Get them out. Okay. Ooh, the sentinel with the broken wing turns to one of its peers and speaks. Please, Davina, set them down. I wish to be freed from this prison. I can no longer count the days we have served our masters toiling on this earth while they enjoy the heavens below. I am alive but dead. They are dead but alive. Will you not let me go? Davina looks at her with disgust. Uh, Excelsior, by the gods, keep it together. Our loved ones rest below. Have you forgotten our sin? We made a promise to guard their afterlives eternally that is our only redemption she sizes us up you are no threat to us uh Kiliki. leave us in peace and we will protect this planet eternally um okay what are you 
We are guardians of the gates to heaven, keepers of our people's immortality. Heaven? She raises one eyebrow and snickers. Um, uh, heaven, yes. Though I doubt your concept of heaven matches that of our masters. She raises one eyebrow and snickers. Our masters are of a refined taste. Um, where Where is this? Sorry, I just need to see. Okay, it's there. Right. Um, we accept your protection. We need this land. Remove archaeologist site from Spirum Prime. Add Sentinels to Spirum Prime with the following results. Maximum districts minus one. Unity from jobs plus 10%. Okay, we accept your protection. Excelsior approaches the archaeologist. Please, I beg you, beg of you to end my suffering. Um, you are free to go. Sure. I don't have any problem with that. Okay. Well, anyway, that was a little weird. Uh, but it is what it is. So this one here, hostile fauna. Isn't that the one we just said we shouldn't use? Hmm. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. We've gone over time again. If you like the channel and you want to support it further, check the description below. There's a link to a Patreon site and a link to a virtual coffee site. If you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing it really helps the channel out immensely and i really do appreciate the support most importantly leave a comment below let me know what you think of the game let me know what you think of how i'm playing it and this campaign and everything uh anything particular i should be doing or you want me to do let me know um happy to entertain some ideas we'll see how we go uh, but I'm not an expert at this game, so if you are going to give me any uh, tasks or things you would like me to do, um, as long as they're sensible, uh, please be pretty descriptive and explain it, because, yeah, I'm not... I'm pretty new to the game still, so I'm learning it. But, um, yeah, so let me know. If you want to ask me questions, feel free to do that as well. I read all the comments, answer every comment that warrants an answer as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.